What's up, everybody? As promised, here is the review of Jedi The Fallen Order on Xbox One. That's the only system bug. as far as I am concerned. Um, wow. This is a special shout-out to a special someone named Kyle. Kyle, I hope you watch this and you learn something. Because despite EA's interference with most of the people that produce work for them, they did not do it with Respawn. Respawn... And, and I was a little bit skeptical. I'm not going to lie about that, you know. But being a Dark Souls fan and just the attention that this drew, being a Star Wars fan, I was very intrigued with this. Started seeing a couple of reviews online. Started seeing some of the gameplays and some of the details. And let me tell you something right now. Get this game. If you like Star Wars, if you like Dark Souls, if you like any kind of Metroidvania type game, and if you like Tomb Raider, that's basically what this game is all wrapped in one in a very fine detail oriented package i mean i just started this off so obviously this is going to be like in the very beginning of the game i'm not going to give away the very very beginning of the game because it is an exhibition and just pure adrenaline when it lures you right in i mean it just gets it going action-packed in the very beginning not unlike a certain uncharted 2 scene but i'm not going to give away too much with that what i am going to do is give this game a very high praise the detail, audio, the sound, it's just marvelous. And what a joy. I'm just going to say that. I mean, the way that you have to traverse it, it, is just awesome. I mean, there's elements of a lot of the From Software games. Not just Dark Souls, but even like, you know, Sekiro. I mean, I can't wait to start traversing into all these different types of universes and stuff like this. And actually seeing some of the other types of... Um, uh, you know, creatures and stuff like that, and just see where the lore is going to take me. And I can tell you that um, me being one of the, uh, I don't know, the original Star Wars, let's just say it with like, you know, Mark Hamilton as, you know, Skywalker, the, you know, the New Hope, you know, the ones that came out first. You know, it's kind of weird to kind of say the first ones when really the, the prequels kind of in chronological yeah, order go either. first. We gotta find another I digress. But that is what sparked the excitement in Star Wars for me. The newer stuff, not so much. I mean, even The Mandalorian, I was just kind of like, yeah, okay. I'm not that much into Star Wars where it really was like, wow. But this revigorates that. It really actually revigorates that because it drops you inside of this world. Let me just say this also as well. I did like Force Unleashed. This is like, and I don't even really have a whole lot of force powers right now. I can slow creatures down, and that's about it. But I am anxiously awaiting, and, and I can just feel the way that the dynamic of this game is. I've unlocked a couple of things since I've uh, made these you know, recordings or whatever. But it's just marvelous. I mean, I can't go on about it. If you are wondering, if you are on the fence, if you enjoy Star Wars or any type of game that is similar to From Software get this game you can change your outfits you can do things like that it's not a uh, you do get xp so there is things like that uh traversal you know it's kind of like a metroid type situation where you will have to go back and forth and back and forth uh there is a ship that you are on as like a home base not unlike uh in mass effect when you're on the uh, normandy so you have a home base and you can traverse. And um, I mean, here is where you would go. It's just like a bonfire slash lamplight where you can um, rest and get your, you, you, you do heal. And uh, the, man, I'm gonna tell you, this game is just, I can't go on enough about it. It's really that awesome. Just so many little details to it. The, the little robot that jumps off your back and gives you hands and walks around. You can scan stuff. And when you scan stuff, it, it builds up the lore. Okay? So if you're a lore person and, and you like the storyline, this is going to do that for you. Nice because job. you can scan just like crazy little things. Just like, I mean, just you can change the color of your lightsaber. You can do all kinds of crazy, small detail things the one complaint that i might have is that you cannot destroy everything now if you have a lightsaber we've seen in the movie where they've taken a lightsaber saber stuck it into a door and melted it like it was a welder okay you're not going to be able to do that i mean 
And the other drawback is, is it being a Disney property now and then wanting to maintain a T rating for teens, there's not any human dismemberment. Not to say that you can even customize your lightsaber handles. I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, if you're into the customization thing, there's, there's interesting facets there for you. If you're not, you don't have to mess with it. It is still in a submersive game. It's great. It, I mean, I can't go on. The details, the, I mean, the sound. There's portions where you're walking through. You have your lightsaber. You hold it up as a lamp. And it illuminates. And not only that, is if you have a different color lightsaber, guess what? It doesn't just put off white light. It actually puts off and emits the color of your lightsaber. It is so awesome. It is just... They thought this through, and I'm glad that EA didn't really have their hands amidst it. It was Respawn, also known for title, you know, Titanfall, which is a great game. But man, uh, I, I might do a playthrough on this. I might do some helps videos. Might do some rage ones because there is some challenging things to this. Every enemy is not the same. Uh, you know, it, it's very much on that Dark Souls level where certain enemies have certain weaknesses, certain counters that eff work effectively more than maybe another. Some that you might want to sidestep, sometimes you might want to roll, sometimes you might want to force slow them down. It is detailed in no way that I can explain to you other than you have to go get this game and play it. Let me just say also that traversing this is not awkward uncomfortable the combat is not awkward it is not uncomfortable it is it, it's it flows very nicely you know whenever i saw the things with the uh you know the tomb raider you know the climbing and all of this stuff i was like pretty concerned but it moves almost effortlessly uh, it, it's really well done it's polished it's for any of the gripes that i do have i mean the positives more than adequately balance it out. I mean, my, my, my gripes on this are like so minute. It's, 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 it's just, there's, there's not even worth mentioning. I mean, the ones that I would say is, um, maybe it's a little sparse. Of course, I'm in the earlier parts of the game, but look at, look at the reflections off that with the lightsaber. Is that not crazy? I mean, really? I mean, it's got a map system. What a lot of Dark Souls games I consider to lack but you know i'm so used to it now that i don't even really use this map thing i think it'd be good to find like hidden areas and stuff like that you know whenever you go back so that way you're not like doubling back and wasting valuable time but uh yeah i was very concerned when they start showing some of the earlier pre-release you know information and videos about this about how the uh, traversal system was going to work but it's it's very well done um i will say that the uh the combat buttons are a little bit different than what your typical from software game would be instead of it being like the trigger and the right bumper it's going to be your x button is your primarily primary combo button with a y button where it has an upward slash it does have a skill tree you can go through and add different techniques uh not unlike i would say maybe uh Sekiro would be a good uh, you know compliment to explain that with um, I don't know how to explain the the nostalgia. Uh, you can there's almost like a premise of where you can almost feel like you are Luke Skywalker, because for me that's really the only Jedi, and I'm talking about the old school ones, because you are almost reenacting that this, these scenarios where it's like you're a Jedi that was in hiding, but you go through and you have these memories, like flashbacks or whatever. Of where you were a Padawan. And you are growing and you're learning. You know, it's like whenever, you know, in the movies, whenever, you know, Luke Skywalker and he meets Obi-Wan and starts, it, it, the lore builds. And you travel with this Luke Skywalker character on this journey till you hit, you know, Return of the Jedi. Where it's like he becomes a full-fledged Jedi. And this is almost very similar, but in a more submersive type of way, where it's more interactive, where it puts you inside of the role and you're doing all the controlling and 
you know, you're, you're finding out what, what you need to do in, in growing in that way. And that, when you, when you take a story Any ideas? and there's growth in it, somehow. and you're interested in the story, and it's got great level design, and it's got Is great it graphics, it's got great lore, you have what my friends we call in the world a good game. And that's what this is. So, kudos to Respawn. Kudos to EA for not fudging this one up. That I, I definitely would like to say that. That uh, if anybody had any fears about whatever... That they, and I understand some people have a position... <coughs> that, um, you know, they don't want to give up anything to EA. But we must always, as... As mere consumers, I hear you, but there's something over give them the opportunity to refix a problematic situation. Not unlike what happened with No Man's Sky, and not unlike what will happen with Anthem. Okay? What I suggest is that everybody go buy a cheap version of that Anthem game because they're going to be doing a. Uh, working on rebooting it, basically. So, hopefully, they won't charge for it, which if they do, they need to learn from the business mo model that. Uh, you know, a No Man's Sky did, but yeah, yeah, I, I can tell you one thing that um, I, I, I have died a couple of times in this game, and I was it, it's it's got a good balance. It was never to the point where I got really frustrated early on. Now, I don't, like I said, I'm early on, so I might be doing some playthrough videos. I might do some more, you know, hint videos. Just depends on the supply and demand. That's how it goes. But you know, this is just going to be a quick review. And, uh, oh, and the uh, lightsaber stations where you can modify them, they're on different planets, and they're also um, on the ship. So it's, it's like uh, any other type of home base where you can go to your home base and do any kind of modifications or anything like that. Uh, for all those that have been wondering about the Death Stranding situation, this Death Stranding is going to go on the back burner for a little bit because I need to cleanse my palate, my psyche, my chi, my inside from all of the nonsense that I had to deal with with PlayStation. So, you know, I've been kind of putting that on the back burner and wanted to get into a little bit something more action-oriented. And uh, I would like to personally shout out to Respawn for making a wonderful game. Uh, I did notice a couple glitches here and there. Like I said, pretty minute. I mean, I'm sure they'll probably put out an update in and kind of rehash and retune it a little bit, but did notice a couple of glitchy things here and there. Which is to be expected with any kind of new release, but as far as anything else, it's pretty damn polished. I mean, look at this traversal. You know, you force stop stuff, you walk, you you go down these pipes, you go up the pipes. Wow. Yeah. Get this game. And uh, I, I, would, I, I will uh, give you any updates. If you have any questions or anything like that, let me know. Yeah, don't fall off the edge. Falling off the edges are bad. But you should fall off over to the GameStop and go pick this one up. Deuces!